Hi, Nancy Burr Priest here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's all my contact. Here is the August 2024 host code. Um, I have a new printer and I haven't actually hooked it up yet. So sorry about that, but that is our new host code. My Facebook business page, please um, like it, join it. Uh, YouTube, like, sub subscribe, watch to the end because I'm trying to build up my watch hours. And of course, share with all your crafty friends. Today we are making this card by Connie Stewart. And when I open it up, and we can talk about this in a minute because I might do the top of this a little different. It opens out. Isn't that a cute card? She actually put a hole in here and tied the ribbon. I did not want to put the hole in there. I, I admit that because then you had to put the hole in the, the card stock and it just seemed like a really tricky thing to do. So what I might do is just round the top of that the second time through and show you and see if you like it better. So what do you need to make this card? Well, first thing you need is a piece of blueberry, four and a quarter by five and a half. The next piece of blueberry is four and a quarter and I scored it at one, three, five and a half and eight. And you notice I did, um, this is what we call a valley fold, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. I just kind of went back and forth to make it look like it had three folds there. I have a peach piece, which I embossed four by five and a quarter. Now my DSP started out like this. So I cut it at half, kept them in order, three quarter, one and three quarter, and that left me with two and a quarter at the end, which is what I have right here. I also got another, kind of an, another piece that matches, which is um, ooh, one half by two and a quarter. Now my basic white, I got a two and three quarter by four. I have a two and a quarter by four, and I have a three quarter by two and three quarter. And I already went ahead and pre-stamped that. I am using Night of Navy ink. This is the embossing folder, and I'm just losing the name right now. I will look that up. Um, and I'm using two stamp sets, Simply Said and Heartfelt Hexagon. So let's start. The first thing I would do, I'm going to look that up because doesn't that drive you nuts when somebody shows you an embossing folder and you can't remember what it is? That would be me. Now, some people have said to me, you know, it's harder to find the embossing folders and such, and it is. Um, I am getting better at looking online and saying, you know what? I'm going to find that embossing folder. So here's one. Um, that is a very fun one, Dashing Designs. I just got that one, and I like it a lot. Um, watch, I'm not going to be able to find this one right away. Yes, I did. Hallelujah. This is on page 51, and this is the eyelet embossing folder. So um, you can look it up online. You can look in the back in the index. Sometimes I just enjoy looking through the catalog, and that's cool too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting these in order. If you get them out of order, now, could I do either side? If you're one of my people that come to my class, yes, you can. And that doesn't look right. You know why? Because that piece goes on the end. I might as well put that. That's why it doesn't look right. This is going to go right here on this white piece. So I'm getting that all ready. I put it right on the end. Okay, let's start with the correct one, which is the three-quarter inch. And that will go right here. 
then this one will come next. Once again, you can use either side. That is totally up to you. I thought it's summer peaches. That's kind of fun. Then I'm going to go with this one next. And I'll go to my green glue. When I run out of that, I have a refill, but I don't want to take the time to do that right this minute. Now, I'm going to put this with this. This is where I put that little tiny extra strip. I just felt like the plain white there was kind of boring. Um, so I put just a tiny little extra strip here. I'll move it over. The green glue does give you some wiggle room, which is nice. Then I already, and you, what did you notice? I made a boo-boo on the back. Just, you know, I always tell all my people <laughs> that stamp with me, you know, if you really looked at my cards, if you took them apart, you would see that I sometimes use the back too. That's a totally fine thing to do. So now I have this piece of DSP. Now I'm going to tell my people put the DSP on first, then stamp the birthday wishes so you can get it lined up correctly. Why do you need that little piece of DSP? Because when it is all folded up, it will show on the end. So I'll go ahead and put this. On. That way, oops, and if you get some of that, you can take a gum eraser or your fingers. Now, when I fold it back up, what I am going to do is take my bone folder this is a tool. If you don't have one, you really need to get one. Bone folders are really helpful. Then I'm going to come back and adhere my embossed piece with the eyelet that I embossed with the eyelet embossing folder. I'm going to put that on there. The next thing I need is I need 20 inches of ribbon. I am going to adhere the ribbon. Now, here's a couple things Connie did. She took her take your pick tool, made a hole here, fed her ribbon up through it. Then she made another hole in here. What I was afraid of is sometimes I, I really like this white ribbon and sometimes it frays trying to go through the hole, but maybe I will try it. We'll, we'll give it a try, and then I'm going to let my people decide whatever they want to do. Um, they can either just do it without, or they can try it with a hole. So let's try it. What she did is she kind of found the middle. And, you, and when you have this pierce mat, it doesn't damage your work service. And she really pushed it. You make it really good. She came to the back and she took her bone folder and flattened it out. A friend of mine did this and she came back the other way, which I thought was an also a good way to just make that hole pretty big. Then she fed that ribbon up through there. Actually, I made the hole big enough. So I'm going to give my people a try. They can do it either way. The next thing you're going to do is take your take the pick, take your pick tool, say that three times, and make sure you have your hole in there pretty good. Both ways. Once again, you're going to thread that through. Make sure that works. Now, my ribbon is getting kind of frayed. What will you do? I will take and just give it a little trim. So I think it can be done either way. 
is my personal feeling, but that is a, a feeling I have. Now it comes up. I'm going to want to have this go up through the bottom again. So I will tell my people it is a little tricky trying to get that little ribbon through. So if you're not happy doing that, just put it on because it works either way. See what I mean? This is what you have to do. I'm going to try my take your pick tool again. Go back the other way. I love being able to struggle on camera. That's so cool. Just kidding. Um, okay, and there it goes. So you just have to make sure you have your hole big enough. Don't worry about it fraying because you will trim it off. I'm going to go ahead, pull that through, and tie my ribbon. Um, I've seen lots of people give this hint. Instead of having them go this way, go up and down with your ribbon, and then make your loops. And then you come back and fussy fuss with it, which I do. Um, okay. And I will trim that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back. Put that to the side. Add this to the card base. Hold it for a minute. Once again, bring back my ribbon scissors and do a nice trim on my ribbon. And you have a fun card. So to be honest, it is okay either way, in my opinion, if you want to fuss with the hole or if you don't want to fuss with the hole. Now, let's say I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to take this off just a little bit. And let's say I didn't want to fuss with the hole. I would just take this and just do a little trim. Just each, each side. Just a little trim. And that way it looks better when you have it here. So either way, a fun card that is not hard and it really packs a wow. Hope you enjoy. Have a great day.